In this video, we're going to focus on how we can customize the Y scale to add a percentage symbol on the ticks. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to add a percentage symbol to the ticks in the Y scale in ChartJS. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go here to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on the site, copy this chunk of code here. Copy this. If you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here. So then I'm going to just paste that in there, cut this out and put the title on here. Save, refresh. There we are. Let's maximize the size of this and just say here, uh, 80%. Save, refresh. There we are. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that we can customize these ticks and put a percentage symbol at the very end. So to do this, I'm going to scroll down here. And in the scales here of the Y scale, we're going to put a comma and then we're going to say here ticks because we want to pinpoint or customize basically the labels here, which are called the ticks. So then what I'm going to do is create a callback functionality. And this callback functionality will allow us to customize the item. For this, I'm going to put in three specific arguments, which is the value. We have here the index. And finally, we have here the values or the entire array of that. So let's do a function error expression. And once we did that, first of all, let me show you what those values mean or what all those arguments mean here. So let's copy this value here. And if I save this right now and refresh, you will see it will disappear or the ticks will disappear. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix that. But let's look at it. You can see here, what are the ticks? Well, guess what? The ticks are exactly the same. So if I put this away again, you will see that the ticks are from 0 to 18. 0 to 18, so this is confirmed. So the next thing, and let me just zoom in a bit more, all right? So the next thing what we could do is let's check out the index. Well, I guess the index would be very self-explanatory, but just in case, you can see here how many index values or how many lines it sees, and apparently there are 10 items here. So this has an index of number 9 as the last one. And that should be correct because we have, if we look at that again, if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ticks. Finally, let's get the values and then we will see here this one and that is a complete array. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here. And if you're wondering why is it uh, showing it multiple times here, because of the animation, it loops through this and it recalculates every time. But anyway, if you click on one of these items here, let's do this one here. You can see here, we don't get any value yet. Although it recognizes there's 10 items. So, but the reason why it doesn't recognize anything because we need to put in a return. So let's do a return here and let's put the return of value. If I save this, refresh, you can see here now this shows. And in here, if I open up this, now we get all the arrays as well. So this is the array of the ticks itself with the value, the label name, and whatever the context would be. And I guess this is some deeper items in here. Anyway, we can ignore this one. This is not for us important. What is important is the value and the label. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the value. That's the one we want. And then just change it or add up or concatenate a percentage symbol. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here backtick, backtick, because I'm going to use here template literals. And backtick is on your keyboard under the escape button. Then I'm going to say a dollar sign and get the variable of value. Not values, but value. If I save this right now, refresh, nothing changes because it still shows this. But then what we could do here now, because we can concatenate, we can do a percentage symbol or a space process and percentage symbol, save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have this, we could move that, we could put it like that. Or we could even do here zero of a comma or point zero, that's probably the right term. S uh, save, refresh, and there we are showing all different structures with a percentage symbol on the Y scale. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you're not working, looking for a percentage on the Y scale, maybe you want to have numbers or a currency where you have to format the currency in the right way. In that case, I'm going to recommend you this video on how to format the numbers in the Y scale in ChartJS, where you can see we can format them depending on the currency or the country. So I highly recommend it to explore as well.